Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. All these things that you're supposed to get from God, they turn away from you because you are not following God's commandment. Because you refuse to follow the laws of God. You rather go to the church that's lying to you. That's right. They want your money, that's all they want. They don't want you to serve the one to God. Right. But they give you the white man, Sija Bosia, to serve as God. Right. Read, there's more on that? Yes, sir. Read. And your sins have withholding good things from you. And what? And your sins have withholding good things from you. Your sin as withholding good for you. Let's find out what is sin. Because he said your sin. The way you are living right now, the night to five, the last hired first, the, uh, the last hired and first fired, right. it's because of your sin. Can right. you give me that? First John chapter three and verse four. Right Whosoever committed sin, transgresseth also the law. Whosoever committed sin, he said when you sin, you transgress God's law. Right. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. When you sin, you transgress against God's laws. Right. When you are not following God's laws, you are in sin. But your pastor said that the law is done away with. How come you will know when you sin if the law is done away? Right. The Bible said our sin is what? Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. Read it from the top. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. When you transgress God's laws, you are in sin. Smoking, you are in sin. Right. If you are women who are wearing pants, you are in sin. Right. When you serve up your beer, you are in sin. Right. Go back to Jeremiah 5.25 again to find out that your sin withholding good from you. We got to change as a nation. We have to change. Turn away from your iniquity. Read. Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 25. Yeah. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. You see that? Your sin. It's your sin that makes you at the bottom of the society. Right. It's your sin that's why you are right now. You cannot stay, you cannot be stable in one job. Or every time you get evicted. Because of your sin, you are not following God's laws. Right. That's why you are at the bottom. That's right. That's why you are the way you are right now. We did a game for them so that can be marinated in your mind. Read. Your iniquities have Start turned from the top. Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. Deuteronomy 20, uh, 28 uh, verse 19. So your sin is holding all these things. So you got to follow in God's laws. Turn away from your holdom. Turn away from, from all these things that make you a stand against God's laws. It's time for you to change your way right now. If you look at the world, how the world is going, it's time for you to change your mind. That's right. Look at how the nation are fighting right now. We almost at the, at the brink of World War III. Right. That's right. It's time for you to change, and if you are not changing, Guess what? That nuclear missile that about to pop it will come take you too. That's right. Read Jeremiah 20, uh, Deuteronomy 28, 19. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 19. Cursed shall thou be without coming in, and cursed shall thou be without goest out. You see what your sin do, uh, did to you? You see what your sin does to you? You will be cursed when you come in for, on this world. And you will be cursed when you're going out to. Right. You say, I'll read it again. Cursed shall thou be without comest in. Whatever you are doing, it will be a curse for you. 
Whatever that uh, you try to do, it will be a curse. It will turn to a curse. Right. right? And curse shall it be when thou goest out. And the what? When thou goest out. And even in your deathbed, you will be cursed. When you are uh, when you are in uh, at the hospital, oh, you are there treating you bad. Okay. No, you cannot have no, your good health care. No, All of these things is because of your sin. Read, right. keep reading. Verse twenty: The Lord shall send upon thee cursings, vexation. What, what the Lord shall send against us? Cursing, vexation. You, you hear that, bro? The Lord will send against you curse and vexation. Right. Read. And rebuke in all that thou settest thine hands to do. Wait, uh, and all what? And, and curse, cursing, vexation, and rebuke in all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do. Everything that you are doing, you try to, uh, to do businesses, you will get a curse. You try to have your own businesses, you get cursed against that. You try to have your house, they raise up the, the percentage on you. You have low credit. That's right. You cannot have the house. All of that is cursed. Because you sin against God, God curse you, right? And until thou perish, I'm sorry, just regard. And until thou perish quickly, because thou wickedness of thy doing wherewith thou hast forsaken me. You hear that, bro? Today, uh, what do they say today call? Oh, uh, yeah, what, what, what's today for us? Saturday. Uh, Saturday, but uh, in, in this day, what God tell, uh, tell us to do? Yeah, what God tell us? Sabbath. So, let's see what God telling us to do in, in this day, because today for God is the Sabbath day, so it's a it's a day of rest. Exactly. So let's see. Next to this, chapter twenty and verse eight. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Stop right here. See, remember the Sabbath day. That's something that you have to remember today. Uh, I'll say 90% uh, uh, of uh, our people don't know the Sabbath day, don't know God's laws. So that, that, that's why they said, uh, remember the Sabbath day to keep, it to keep it holy. So how we will keep the Sabbath day holy? So let's find out some more. How we recognize that? Exactly how we will keep it holy. Let's go. Uh, read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt do, thou shalt not do any work. In it we're not supposed to work. We right. were not supposed to work on the Sabbath day. Right. Uh, during that day, no work. Read. Thou, nor thy sons, nor thy daughters, thy maidservant, nor thy man servant. You and your family, the, the people that are working in your house, if you have, they're not supposed to work in this day, right? Nor thy cattle, nor thy strangers that, that is in within thy gates. Right. So uh, give, give me now cooking. So that's one thing. First of all, you're not supposed to cook. Um, you're, you're not supposed to work right. on the Sabbath day. That's right. So you know, uh, from sundown to sundown, which is we're about to tell you how to, uh, the Sabbath start from Friday night to Saturday night. It's the Sabbath. That that's the law. That's all. So that that that's why uh, we got all the information there. If you if you exactly you see the the, the phone number, call and find out. Come up, uh, come up. So that's what we're here for. We're here to call all the men because that hey, give me, give me problem and it in two. Let me show you that, that that's why we're here. God is here to call in you to be on his side, to follow God's law and to go back to our homeland. This here, oh, this land right here, it's our captivity. We're still in captivity, we're still in slavery. 
the way that we live in, the black, Hispanic, and Native American living, we are we live in as a slave. But most of the people don't know that because they got a job, they think they're good. Because they got a good car, they, they think they're good. Because they got a house, no. This is nothing. The whole earth is for you. Right. That's the whole earth is for the Israelites. That's right. The black, Hispanic, and Native American. Uh, let, 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 let's finish with that. We're, we're going to that too. Where are we going to that? Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call. You see that? God is calling you. That's right. He said, unto you, O men, I call. It's time for you now to change right. your way. Right. The way of you living, you got to turn away from it. That's right. Because that's why we, we're here, we're at the bottom of this uh, society. That's right. So now, God, you know God is calling you. It's time to change your way, to follow in God's laws, and to come on this side to teach your people. Because God is calling only only his people he's not calling everybody right give me um matthew 24 15. we we, we go back uh, to exodus hold it yes that's what we're about uh to read uh 15 24 24 15. 15 24. how do you know the bible like that Let's, that's why we just read proverbs 8 and 2 right. because god is calling you to be here to study it Right. To study the Bible, right. it's not, it's not go to um what what, what you call him uh, the theologian. No, God give us this word. Oh wait, fin finish with that. Read the book of Matthew, chapter fifteen and verse twenty four. But he answered and said, I am not sin, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's only where God sent us to the house of Israel. The 12 tribe. That's of right. Israel. Yeah, that's the only people God sent us. That's why now He's calling you to come here and He's sending you to them. Exactly. So, uh, now uh, you, you, you finish that? Uh, um, or, or on Paul, or Paul Street. So he was. So that, that, that's why we're here for, to call you men. And God is saying us to only to the, to the lost ship, to the lost ship of house of Israel. That's the only way, that's the only where God is calling you. And now it's time for you to change. Today is your day. You are hearing God's laws and to change your way. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth